what's up guys so this is probably more well deserved than it should be because my idiot self explained a certain sound not the greatest um anywho this is gonna be a tutorial for uh the hummingbird whistle that you may have saw on the channel whatever you ain't seen it you can just call it the uvula whistle at this point in this video i'm gonna properly explain how to do this whistle the best I can so let's just get straight into it the sound that I am going to give a tutorial on is this it's like a little hummingbird there's the inward version which is breathing inward with the uh, uvula and stuff and then the outward is just the same way. You're just breathing outward, but sort of like you would be the Starsky bass, but you're just doing the uvula vibration. So you get. And you play around with it. For the inward one, let's, let's start the best way to do, to do this whistle. So first of all, you need to learn how to inward whistle. If you don't know how to do that, the best way is to start from, like, O. Because if you can whistle outward, if you notice, you breathe, and it's not accurate because you have to adjust a little bit. You have to find where the inward whistle is. But if you're, you know, if you're still struggling, I would just experiment with It's a little bit uh, lower than the normal whistle when you're breathing in because you have to create the airflow going from your tongue over the top at least specifically breathing inward for a whistle this way to do this whistle so breathing inward right you got that inward whistle easy okay that's like the first step now make the, the position the position is going to be something like this And the inward whistle comes in really clean in this position too. So when you've got it like that, wait, and you find this, the like the upper area, that's when you gotta add the uvula. So if you don't know how to use your uvula, this is gonna be really hard to explain, but I'll do my best. So when it comes to the uvula, the this, back here you know a little thing that dangles in your throat if you can do any kind of sound like that that because that's all that's all you feel that's you know it, the that's outward inward etc if you can if you can do either of those sounds the little and both of those will trigger the airflow on the whistle to vibrate to make the little so when you're doing your inward whistle in that position you're using the pressure from the uvula inhale the with the whistle at the same time the best way to transition into it probably start from normal whistle And you'll notice too when you're doing it sometimes even now this whistle still has parts where if you push too much it will uh, separate and you'll lose its sound quality and texture so you just it's all about the holding that little the little ooh. and that's for the inward so you gotta just combine the inward whistle with inward uvula breathing so the so like a it's almost like inward bass, uh, but don't do inward bass. That is another thing though. You can combine inward bass with this whistle. It is very hard though. Um, for the outward version, let's move on to that. So it's the same principle. 
and maybe even doing the outward will help you figure out the inward because using your uvula is part of the outward as well so when you're doing the outward you can out almost everybody can outward whistle if you can't whistle uh one thing i can recommend to you is t but just the the now i'm doing the whistle with it that's not normal but if you notice when you say like a like a hi-hat like and you just remove less of the force in the airflow and and if you remember the position from where your tongue's pushing out the air you can do it without the tongue but you are going to need your tongue for this just a tiny bit just to create the the same position as you did with the because the airflow goes over the tongue and in so this time you're going to be pushing it more out and straight so outward whistle combined with uvula and you can stutter it and stuff um it it takes a little bit to clean up too so even even now i don't use the outward one as much as i do the inward one but their same principle applies both are pretty crazy whistles they get some really high pitch frequencies could be a great special sound to add regardless if you have any questions please comment below and i will do my best to explain this has been Glutz Pirates, and have a great day.